Frank Lloyd Wright speaks about organic architecture. The cultural influences in our country are like the flu-flu bird. I am referring to the peculiar and especial bird who always flew backward. To keep the wind out of his eyes? No, just because it didn't give a darn where it was going, but it just had to see where it had been. Now, in the flu-flu bird, you have the true symbol of our government architecture. Two, and in consequence, how discredited in American culture stands in the present time. All the world knows it to be funny except America. What prevented us, and still prevents us, from knowing it? Armchair education, let's say. Now all this has parallels in history. The Romans were just as incognizant as we are of the things of the spirit. They too had no culture of their own. England had none of their own, and we, having none, got what we have as a substitute second, third, or fourth hand from them all. Roman culture, for instance, was Greek. The Romans, however, did have great engineers. You have all heard of the arch. What did the Romans do with their greatest invention, the arch? You know well enough, for centuries they wasted it by pasting a travesty of Greek trebation over it to conceal the truth of structure, until finally some vulgar Roman, more uncultured than the rest, one day got up and said, Hell, take it all away. What's the matter with the arch? It's a genuine, beautiful, and noble thing. And finally they got it. Got the common arch as indigenous architecture. We, the modern Romans, probably are going to get architecture something like that same way. We are going to have a true architecture of glass, steel, and the forms that gratify our new sense of space. We are going to have it. No colonial Eden is able long to say us nay. Culture, given time, will catch up and assert itself in spite of reaction. The thing which we call America, as I have said, goes around the world today. It is chiefly spirit, but that spirit is reality. Not by way of government can we find encouragement of any help. No, we can have nothing by way of official government until the thing is at least ten years in the past. What can government do with an advanced idea? If it is still a controversial idea, and any good idea must be so, can government touch it without its eye on at least the next election? It cannot. I know of nothing more silly than to expect government to solve our advanced problems for us. If we have no ideas, how can government have any?